So of the four things we want to do when we're doing site assessment on the property, we really want to listen to the land. We want to use our eyes to see what's going on in the property during every season, during different times of the year, different weather events. All those different things are going to tell us patterns where the rain is falling, where the sun is shining, and where the best areas to grow might be and other areas that might have frost or might not have good production possibilities. So we're listening to the property. The second thing we want to do is design in future tents. When we design in future tents, just like nature, things are going to change. We're not building a static system. We're building a dynamic process of growing food, of growing a system on the property that will change and develop over a number of years. Three to five years and then to maturity when we can get these great harvests. So if we plan for growth and we plan for a dynamic system, things will constantly be moving ahead. We also want to use natural patterns. We're following the sunlight, right? We're following the contours. We're following the water flow. We're following the soil types. All those things are natural patterns that help us make good decisions for plants, where they're going to go, and what proximity they are going to be to each other so they all partition the resources and they don't compete with each other, but they share all the resources also.